Welcome back everyone to Let's Play World Waves 2 as Japan episode number 2. I feel like getting my mojo back. So hopefully this will be a better episode. I also should be taking advantage of the fact that I can now pause a recording in the middle. It would be very easy for me to pause and look up names without, you know, delaying, delaying you guys. You know, not wasting video time. Which I just did by talking about how I can do that. But, you know, I guess you're going to lose it one way or the other. Either explaining about it or <laughs> not doing it, not explaining, and not pausing. So we made it through December 1902. That's pretty good for our first turn. Of course, we're about to go to war, which is... Well, December 1902, this is not necessarily that quick, that early. I've had much, much earlier wars. I've had games where you didn't go to war until 1905, but this is probably not going to be one of those games. How do we stack up against the Germans right now? We're 4-6 to six in battleships. We're 1-6, to six, which is a huge discrepancy in terms of armored cruisers. 6-11 to 11 in light cruisers. Zero to th <laughs> Holy cow! So what I think um, what I think is happening is the nations seem to be spending. Excuse me, sorry. Nations seem to be spending their extra money on destroyers. Now that's kind of a good thing because um, previously we had a little bit of a two top heavy thing going on, and I think that Frederick has worked to kind of smooth out the the. <laughs> Um, what's it called? Excuse me. Yeah, the, the distribution of classes. So you can think of it that we have 25... We have basically 25 destroyers, because corvettes, my 600-ton corvettes, are actually bigger than their destroyers. <laughs> so you can just tell this by the, the size. They have 30, 14,200. I have 25, 15,000. So we're actually doing better in terms of destroyer stuff. And that's only because we're expecting to need a lot of uh, uh, coastal patrol stuff, which is trade protection in World Waves 2. So lots of money, four million coming in a turn. I don't have a design in mind to build yet. So I'm gonna say steady as she goes. We have not fixed the Kami yet because do we have no, we don't have the dock size to upgrade her yet. Medium wing turret. Okay, good. So now secondary wing double turrets up to 10 inch caliber. That's, that's very nice. I was expecting this rebellion to be squashed now that we have, I think, five ships there. Four light cruisers and 13 corvettes. Well, that seems pretty convincing to me. Battleships, armored cruiser. I guess we could move our armored cruiser out now that it's been refit. Um, let's move it to Southeast Asia. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to move it directly to South Pacific. Whoops. You guys can't see that. Uh, South Pacific, where hopefully it can help squash this um, rebellion. Okay, otherwise... Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything else we need to do. Okay, let's do it. Rebellion is not going away. Uh, Tortu or Tortogo is not happy about that. We don't have anybody in reserve fleet either. I didn't. I didn't even think about that. We could have been saving a little bit of money, but not too much. Not too much. Uh, selling us anything? Yes. <laughs> Whole construction of, all of in this case, but yes. Man, that rebellion. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, we haven't done any f coastal fortification stuff either. So let's get two coastal forts in Formosa. And How many How many coastal forts? I'm just going to get another 6 inch here. I don't think it'll matter. Oh my gosh, we don't have any in Hokkaido. Well then, okay, I actually need another one. <laughs> I would have thought that we already had one, but a two six inch there. I still would. I still wish it wouldn't take us to that screen, or it would. I don't know. It's tough to say. I don't really want to build a fortification, but hey, the good news is that 
when we build this, it will be canceled if we lose control. So it doesn't, ah, uh, you know what? I don't want to mess the game up. I don't know how the game, it should be able to handle that, but let's wait till we squash the rebellion first. Um, give it maximum publicity. Come on, rebellion. Did we, is it over? Nope. Not yet. Oh yeah, bases, improving bases. Base capacity, I think we do want to spend some money on this one. Oh, oh, we really want to keep China in our sphere of influence, so we will definitely send a strong force. And that's gonna be one of our big targets is Kashao Bay. Let's look at invasion range. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. It doesn't really make sense, does it? That Jap Japan easily could have invented Tsingtao in 1900. Yeah, these invasion ranges things, they leave a little bit to be desired. Oh well. A little disappointing. That means we. <laughs> the invasion we're gonna launch is gonna be against. It's gonna be in a place where I don't think Japan would have been able to launch an invasion. <laughs> This is a very strange situation. Uh, we do like Great Britain, but we'll, we'll take the prestige. Yes, finally we crushed the rebellion. So now we can go ahead and build... I think I'll just build a solo 6-inch gun there for now. It's only worth 2 points, so probably the 6-inch gun will be more um, income or more maintenance than we will actually be making on the colony itself pretty funny but at least we'll have a chance to i think i'm i'm looking forward to this so i think we can take them four more months and then we can retrofit but i really don't want to retrofit oh that's right we'll be able to retrofit in japan so it won't matter if we have bad tensions with the british okay submarines working good and the british or the germans also have the those really weird, I would say poorly designed, under-armored, under-gunned battleships. I don't know where our money's going. It doesn't seem like it's going up fast enough. Double bottom, that's, that's quite nice to have. Seems a little bit early for it, 1903. We don't have submarines, but what's, so that's the second submarine reliability, so we're probably in the, up to maybe around 50. Hmm. What kind of technology have we gotten lately? We definitely have semi-dreadnought technology. Okay. That's perfect timing. Bring it on. We'll go to war now, if you don't mind. And everyone's on active fleet, ready to go. Oh, South Pacific, we're actually short. Oh yeah, well, this does make sense. We don't need this number of people. I think I will leave the heavy cruiser there, but we'll take two of these back to Southeast Asia. And honestly, we probably want to expand the the port was this base capacity 30. We'll improve this base as well. And hit next turn. New docks complete. So if we decide to bring the commies in for a refit, I know what's gonna happen. We're gonna we're gonna go to war while they're in dock. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually keep them out. If I were to design a new ship i kind of want it to be even another light cruiser I, I, I don't know, just the fact that we have the six inch the quality one or the quality zero they're not even quality one but quality zero which shows you how amazing it is that in the russian collabor the collaborative you know succession series we did with with ben that he got quality one six inch guns so early it was really something i do want to keep building my dock size no, it costs some money. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, we've seen this, and we can defeat this. Oh, well, 18 7-inch guns, that 9 7-inch guns per side, that's not... Okay, you can't laugh that off. That's nothing to scoff at. Germany is spending 8% of their naval budget on research. That's interesting. Really interesting. Hmm. So I never got a second armored cruiser class. I mean, a second armored cruiser, even. 22 knots. It is nice and fast, so we'll be able to get away from enemy ones. Tension actually dropped. Well, let's put two of them in for repairs. And now we, we can uh, can have this built at our local yard. Okay, so it's going to be woo, expensive, but they'll be built in our yards now. Oh, <laughs> no they won't. We don't have 12-inch guns yet. you got to be kidding me. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, that's, yeah, well, that's, <clears throat> that's certainly a reason not to rebuild them in our docks. Um... I will do it because right now we're about to go to war. I don't know if it'll increase tensions. I don't. I guess it didn't. But look at that. We have elite crew quality. We have not even done the doctrine for it. So hell, I mean, we're not going to. Oh my gosh, please. No. If we can take over something, that would be great. Well, there it is. Select a possession for a surprise. Oh, crap. Major face palm, major hit self and face moment. I don't have anything with torpedoes. <laughs> I don't have anything. All we can do for this surprise attack is go in with our battleships. Shoot. Um, we have one light cruiser. Can I sneak in another? Can I move you, just quickly move you up? It, it only makes sense, right? If we're going to do a surprise attack, we should have a, a month to plan it. That makes sense. Makes sense to me, at least. And you guys are all... Like, these guys shouldn't even be there anymore, but we'll move some... So we'll move some of these to... Northeast Asia, and then we'll move some of them to Southeast Asia. It is nice not having short range ships so that we can move them about as we wish. And the rest of you guys are going to go on coastal patrol, trade protection. Trade protection, not that one. There we go. I'm feeling very confident about this. We have extremely good crew quality, and I'm, I don't. I don't fully understand why. Just to make sure invasion range, yeah. So. Did we invade Kiashao Bay? What the hell? Is that a surprise invasion? Is that like the Port Arthur type invasion stuff? Is that what's going on? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm actually lost. I may have to. Well, hopefully you guys are quicker with your eyes. And we're able to see, but I thought it said su surprise, uh, surprise attack, as in, you know, with the surface fleet. And I do have an armored cruiser here, Germany. I would love to be able to kill that. So let's wait. Um, okay, cruiser action. What? Why are we getting a cruiser action, and not a surprise attack? All right. Well, confusion reigns. For the moment, but um, our first battle. Let's try to make sure that I'm capturing. Goes to show you that I am making the whole thing smaller now, but it will also should be more zoomed in for you guys. 
Okay, here we go, which is actually not going to matter for the for the naval battle stuff. Just for the strategic screen. And where's our gun? We should have a gun somewhere. Hokkaido, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, our guns. Uh, it's in the wrong area. <laughs> It's not gonna help us there. What what mission was this? It was a cruiser battle and we didn't run into a cruiser? Very strange. Okay, I I was guessing it might be the armored cruiser. It was, so it ended up being a good thing. Let's take a look at this thing. Okay. I don't know what to think. I'm just gonna assume that it is actually the Hearth class. Four eight inch guns, eight six inch. Okay, this is actually pretty interesting. I think our armored cruiser can defeat this. They both have four eight inch guns. We have better crew quality. We're actually 400 tons heavier. And most of that is going to go into more 6-inch guns, so I think we just win by sure weight of fire. As long as we don't take a torpedo. So what in the end happened can... It is, we are invading. Okay, well then there should be battles in support of that. We have one, two light cruisers, perfect, in Southeast Asia. We have... A lot going on in that area, which I actually need to move you back for this. This is important enough that, I mean, I, I can move him back and forth, but let's move up to Northeast Asia for now because this is kind of important. So much so that I'm even thinking about bringing one more back up to Northeast Asia. So let's move one to Southeast Asia and move the one to Northeast Asia. Okay, good, good, good. South Pacific, so you guys can go to trade protection now. Good, okay, so we have 21 of nine. ASW should be no problems. I don't know how many summaries they have, but... The Navy literally awash in money and the Army in dire need of... What? What do you mean awash in money? Oh, our yearly budget is so low. This is actually a huge number. Well, maybe that means that our invasion will go well. Okay, they just... They took money and they decreased our budget. Both terrible things to happen. So I should have been paying attention. You gotta make sure that your money doesn't go like above 50%. We're already there. How the hell are we gonna afford even a single damn ship? A single damn ship costs... <laughs> One ship costs... It'll, it, we aren't allowed to have enough money to buy... If we have more than enough money to buy one battleship, we can't even afford to save enough money for two battleships. I tell ya... I tell you. Well, I think that the best solution for us right now will then just be to build a crap ton of submarines. Because, I don't know, uh, they'll help us win battles. They'll help us win wars that are not happening near us. They're OP, right? They're a little bit overpowered. Um, so that'll save, that'll be some money. Don't think we'll design a new ship quite yet. do this, my usual two. I still have never gotten into all these other things. Alright, let's go. Of course. Coastal Raid. Wait. Oh. I'm going in as a Coastal Raid? What? This is... 
usual. Okay, the unknown ship is actually the emplacement we want to take out. my ears oh my gosh I'm so sorry <laughs> oh god oh my god oh my god oh god oh my god that was so loud <laughs> so the problem is that uh, this game it does not uh it i had to reinstall it because i my hard drive died oh my god that was so loud and we have other ships coming okay well let's kill our bombardment target i think i will take on light cruisers i don't believe that these are light cruisers they are okay what do we have here that's something i can defeat let's go for it a barbon target is one thing, but we can come back for that. Let's go for after the main, the meat. We can go up to 20 knots, but I'm not going to push me to, to squad max quite yet. They are not going to be able to um, chase me. Torpedoes don't bother me. The range on them is so low. Are they just going to go into port? Oh, another, so this is probably a uh, gun emplacement. Okay, we have the wind on our side. Things are looking good. <clears throat> Let's close. Close the range. Get this nonsense out of here. Ah, uh, they changed it. Okay, that's what I want. Okay, we still have all the speed available since we haven't pushed our engines too fast quite yet. Unknown ship. Well, this is... Yeah, it cannot be... They can't have... I don't think they have another armored cruiser out here. All we needed to do is have enough ammunition on either side, port or starboard. You know, we haven't done very well, despite our great crew quality, or alleged great crew quality. I'm starting not to believe the rumors. We landed any hits? There we go. Right on cue. Unknown ship down here as well. It's probably... Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Another merchant ship. Okay, what was that? Was that a miss hit? Whoop. Uh, yeah. We've landed two hits and they've landed four. Oh, that was good, that was good. Let's go up to squad max now. She obviously has the huge advantage that she can just go to port when she wants. Got another hit. We're close. Closing the range. Another hit. Come on. Kind of crazy, but here we go.
They keep landing the hits, unfortunately. Speed is down 21. That's an 11 inch coastal battery. Good lord. I think, yeah, the five heavy guns. No, it's only four heavy guns. What are you talking about? But this 11 inch coastal battery is serious. <laughs> if you guys want to come play, you got to come play out here. Sorry. We're not going to play over there. I probably should have just focused on and sunk the destroyer so that there was some significance to the whole engagement. But I was still really hoping that we could fight and defeat that light cruiser. Oh well, maybe we did need to save our ammunition for this one. Hit it a whole bunch, but still nothing. Does that mean it's down? I didn't get a message saying mission accomplished. Oh my gosh, I hate this. <sighs> okay, yeah, yeah, it's still there. Do we have any gun ammunition? We do. Port aft. Yeah, we do have a little bit left. No! Wait, no! That's stupid. <laughs> just when you, like, take a break from all the waves, you get back into it, and then something stupid like that happens, just immediately makes you <laughs> kind of very upset. Ah, let's not let it bother us. That's stupid, but it's just, you know, whatever. We'll, we'll ignore it. It hopefully won't have any consequences on the, on anything. Wow, that's stupid, though. It's right there, blowing it apart. Okay, fair enough. Um, what next? Cruiser action. I don't, it doesn't seem like they even care about this invasion which is going on. What are you, first and foremost, are you a heavy cruiser? Yeah. So I don't think we'll be able to take it. This one's different too, two nine inch guns. And 14 seven inch guns, it's pretty scary. Good news is I'm pretty sure she's not faster than us, so we'll just get away. In fact, we can lead her right into the mines. Still, into my like in in the entirety of my playing, rule the waves too, and rule the waves, and yeah, both of them combined. I've only seen an enemy run into a mine, despite leading them through them. I've seen them pass through the circle, probably a dozen times, maybe less, maybe eight times, but I've only ever seen them hit a mine once. I need to slow down because I want to make this work. 
Okay. Damn it, missed. Okay, next. Okay, next. What is this? A 600 battery? Yeah. Well, let's see what they if they want to go for that. I'll bring them over to it. So our battery is definitely firing. This is kind of interesting. We if we can actually pull this off because we can move right back to the battery after this. <laughs> Just trying to get my six inch gun involved. Okay. I don't know where she is. We'll just stay by my six inch gun battery. There was two of them? There was a lot of stuff. Huh, this is what they called loss of contact. Wow. So the other fleet was making its way up. Hmm. So that means they do have two. They actually got victory points for that. Oh, for landing hits. Uh, so they have two armor cruisers in, in our theater. <sighs> well. I don't know, hopefully we get a battle in favor of invasion or whatever. No, just another cruiser action. I mean, we have an armor cruiser. It'd be nice if that got involved. Hey, speaking of. All right, now I can fight. Now you can show me the enemy. Oh boy, it's another one of those. I was thinking this would be another one where nobody spotted each other. Okay. We have the wind advantage. Okay. Has a lot of ships. It's probably a safe assumption to say that one of these is not a light cruiser. Which one is the big question though? Oh my gosh. I think that's a line of armored cruisers. Now I'm not we could take one on, but I don't think we can take two. Plus an escort. That might be asking a little bit much. If we can hit one of these light cruisers and like do some damage and you know, I'm willing to have fun that way, but. Two nine inch guns, it's not that bad. This is seven inch guns will really probably do me in. Oh no, I don't think that's a battleship. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're outclassed here. We'll just turn. They have more guns that they can bring to bear. I'm going to stay at 20 knots for as long as I can. One of our turrets jammed. What? What, what, what? Is out of ammo for guns that bear. Oh, is that like a, is that a message that's supposed to relate to the turret being jammed? I don't know, I'm a little confused about that. Here we are. 
Uh, did we? Did I just see? Okay, darn it. This last one I got hit, but so we did see two two hits going out. Let's cross the T. And swing back. Still going 20 knots too. That's the good news. Another hit. I mean, this could be our new Sunk George. She's really giving it to that Victoria Louise. Oh my goodness. Oh my! We did take a hit, but it was a superstructure hit. It's like fine with me. Another hit. Pretty good armor, I do have to say. But I mean, we've definitely been the the more accurate, and they have ten six-inch guns. We're sitting on sixteen, which is going to help us. See how this goes. Boy, we're getting a lot of hits. Yeah, the Veneta is now trying to <clears throat> even the score. Yeah, the problem is that if we get caught, we have no destroyers to help us. But they're just keeping me interested just enough. Okay, this is already a victory. But if we can get a critical hit and then drive the others off the Victoria Luis and then land a torpedo, we'd really be in business. Yeah, that's a lot of hits. I mean, it's a hit every other minute. I'm trying to imagine this, like visualize it, just a little pings little explosions from the six inch shells or every now and then maybe an eight inch shell squad max is still still decent so let's um let's stay at 20 actually let's go down to 19 six inch hit another six inch hit so high explosive wise at least there should be some damage being done Oh my gosh, their guns are out of ammunition. Is that true? Well, their forward gun is. Their rear gun might not be. But their forward gun is. Interesting. Such an interesting thing. Their rear one probably is not. Because they've been uh, chasing me a lot. And for all I know, it's my my rear might be out of ammo. <laughs> Oop, that was a bad that was a bad one. So Victoria Luis is pulling off. What does that actually mean though? We are between her and her escorts. Do we want to what's our what's our um, ammo count at? So we definitely won the battle against this Victoria Luis. Claiming heavy damage, I, I don't believe that, not for a minute, but... Yeah, so her rear gun still has ammunition. It's a really big belt, that's the problem. Pretty heavy armor. That's a lot of hits she took, but I don't know how many were penetrating or whatever, so... I'm going to try to pursue and get on her... Um, on the opposite side from the Veneta. Let me actually even hold fire for now. Because I think we're... Oh, well, we're in... We could. We could fire at this range, but... As I get closer... 
I'm just gonna let them fire all their guns from this distance. Yeah, now I okay, and it said that we need to clean our grates. So we've been going a little too fast. Uh, a lot of we, I mean, just it speaks for itself. We have so much, you know, soot pouring out that we need to clean the crates. Um, we definitely have enough ammunition to sink a light cruiser. We have the torpedoes to sink anything. So I'm gonna play around with the targets at range for now. I'm gonna slow down to 17. I'm not sure what we want to do quite yet. This is so, this is such an interesting, it's like now we're just scouting each other. They do have the wind advantage now, but are they coming back? No. Strange, very strange engagement. We're over on time, so at this point we have to pick one target and go for it. If we don't, if we go for any other target, basically, we won't be able to find the other ones before the mission ends. And even then, we only have you know, like three more hours. That'd be a long time to chase. I think. So they have the Veneta at the back. Oh, there's been a change of course. This is... Okay, this is interesting. I don't know of a captain who's ever tried to let... Oh, yeah, the net actually landed a hit. Let's just take a look at that. what that was. Aft four. Um, aft. Whole hit. Okay, so the belt extended area, I guess. Four aft. Secondary battery was hit. Another hit. I really want to fight more at the edge of range so that those hits are a little bit less likely. I guess they can't bracket a target with only one gun. Okay, let's speed up to squad max now, which is for us 20, but probably better than what they are. We waited this long and now we're trying to get in there. So we are passing the Veneta easily now. Here we go. Let's pick our target and go for it. And ideally, it's the Victoria Luis. We've done so well against her so far. Hold fire, though. We don't have much ammunition. Here we come. This is a crazy engagement. We've come this far, though. We're not going home. <laughs> without something to show for it. So we are catching her. Okay, this that is my worry. My biggest worry at this point is <clears throat> that the light cruisers can actually penetrate if we're too close. So far, not the case. And the Veneta, Veneta is actually way behind. Question, uh, her armor is nearly as good. She has a 7-inch gun secondaries, which I'm not sure how much those have fired yet. Yeah, we'll keep going after these guys. I'm assuming they are all opening up against us. So, they're wasting ammunition. Wasting, I don't know, it's, it's what you have to do. You have to fire at the enemy. But they are firing, and we are not yet. So hopefully they're running out of ammunition. Stokers are exhausted. 19 knots. We're going to start losing speed faster and faster, but their stokers are exhausted. Okay, I think we're close. Let's go ahead and start targeting an enemy now. Decided to aim for the that is class. That's fine. I, I mean, I don't. Whatever the one they wanted to pick is fine with me. Stokers are exhausted. I know, I know. But the Japanese will carry on valiantly. We have not been landing the hits, unfortunately, and it is going to be dark soon. So the battle will end 
Actually, the battle's supposed to about end right now. You know what? Hey, just go for the destroyer. Let's take something home with us. Got a hit. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, turret jams. <laughs> well, that's fine. The six inch guns can still hit. <laughs> Visibility. Come on, stokers. And that's probably it. We might bumble into somebody. Just trying to go through the lines here, but. Okay, so that'll be that. A nice victory for us, I'm sure. Well, it doesn't really show up as much of a victory. The destroyer was more heavily damaged than the, the armored cruiser. It's eh, interesting. I didn't check, by the way, to make sure that I was centered. Sorry, I'll have to do that. Get into the habit of checking the tactical map, make sure. Yeah, it's not really not much of a a blow. Yeah, send a note. A lot of their damage is coming. That's a lot of VPs. Wait, blockade? Good lord. Oh my god. That's, <laughs> that's really not... Uh, I did not expect that. Well, I mean, every ship but one that is available is already in this area, so we can just build one more, um, I guess. Yeah, we, we literally just don't have the ships. I mean, they we have almost every ship we own in this area. There's Is there a tonnage requirement here? We might have to move out of South Pacific. Is there anybody in there? There is one light cruiser. I think we'll leave them there, actually. One light cruiser, one light cruiser, and then, and there's a lot more here, but luckily there's nothing which can happen here. There's no invasions which can happen, so forget it. Just put one light cruiser and put one, put another one into, yeah, here. Okay, another cruiser action. And it's the same one, 47 minutes, so you know what? We'll probably, I think we're just gonna have to pause this and pick this up in the next video. So that was, uh, that was exciting. We tried our best. Things are going slow. This is the early game. We're not expecting huge battles yet. I mean, Japan, you're not going to expect... I could... Actually, I'd be very happy if our four battleships got into a fight against their three battleships. I'd be ecstatic, but... It's just... There's no way to force that to happen. Um, so we'll just wait for the battle generator to bless us. And until that happens, or even if it doesn't, I'll... Uh, I'll catch you back in the next video. So thanks for watching, and uh, until the next one, take care.